Hello Gemini's, it's Sunny Avi and I'm here to give you your weekly for the week of August 16th through the 22nd, 2020. Keep in mind that these are general, so things that I talk about may not resonate with you and it should be alright. If you are interested in a personal reading, uh, please check out the description bar below because my information is there. Just come in with my readings. I do talk fast, I do curse, and due to me reading for a lot of different energies, my readings can be pretty jumpy. Alright, so y'all, so much came to me. Um, when it was time for me to do y'all's reading um be mindful of the 19th of this week um not really sure if something good or bad will happen um but i feel like this is more of like a you're you're realizing you're realizing all the smoke is fading away is what spirit wants me to say um that song by not john mayer lord by um john legend ordinary people you child i had to stop shuffling to sing that whole damn song <laughs> so that's um listen to that song if you can um and also pisces kept popping up so if you have pisces within your chart um this may resonate or you may be dealing with the pisces but let's see let's see and also y'all had a random card pop out okay Hmm. Lord, okay. Okay, some of you, okay, I'm hearing two things. Some of you, you are expecting too much right now. And others of you, you are expecting too much from the wrong person, or vice versa. Honey, flip it to how it resonates. Um,. I feel for some of you, you were presented with some sort of offer, some sort of presentation, whether it was from a person or it was from a company, maybe it was from your divine God and angels, but you wasn't really sure on what you needed to do with it, how you needed to handle it. And now um, you may be a bit unsure if you are doing the right thing if you didn't take that offer or if you did um regardless of what you've done i i just feel like you're still second guessing like damn did i make the right decision am i doing the right thing is, is this is how life supposed to be is my life really supposed to be like this um i just feel that y'all are questioning a lot that has been handed to you or offered to you whether you took it or not. Um, some of you, you are having second guess. You, you're second guessing um, your own power, your own motives. Um, are you doing the right thing? Are you marrying for love? Are you marrying just to have someone? A spirit wanted me to say that. Um, some of you, honey, you want a boyfriend and a girlfriend on the side. Or you want two girlfriends. You want two boyfriends. You just an old little gigolo. And you just want your cake and eat it too. Um, or, you know, maybe you're dealing with someone who was like this. Okay. I, I'm getting that, like, uh, diary of a mad black woman scenario where it's like the girl or the guy made majority of the money, a big chunk of the money, and, like, he's whining and dining you. Um, he's showing you the life of luxury that you've always wanted he may be treating you well or he was treating you well and now it's starting to change you're starting to see his true demons you're starting to see that he manipulated you um vice versa maybe you met a woman and honey she was sexy and bad as hell but you know now like you're starting to see the dark side of her and you know you're like damn i don't know what to do you're kind of stuck between a rock and a hard place um for some of you you may be in a situation where you've put all your eggs in one basket you put all your life savings all your hopes and dreams into something and it's not really panning out the way that you had expected um for some of you you may be second guessing business um especially if you put a lot of money into business and you know it isn't manifesting the way that you want you may be second guessing um maybe a 
a vehicle, a home. Um, once again, maybe a relationship. And you know, something isn't panning out the way that you had expected. And it's kind of like you're, you, you have egg on your face, unfortunately. Um, on another note, some of you, maybe you've received what you wanted. Okay, once again, these generals, honey. You've gotten everything that you asked for. And you feel good. You feel like this is right. You know this is right. But you're having a hard time keeping up. You're having a hard time ma maintaining it all. Like, even though you're experiencing a different type of pressure, it's still pressure. And... The main thing about pressure is it's really depending upon how you handle it and where you are at mentally, okay? And for some of you, like, I, I just feel like this is a bit too much. And, you know, you're trying to catch up and maybe you are catching up, but, you're, but you are also exhausted in every way, shape, or form. And, Lordy, you, you're just like, damn, is this right? Am I really supposed to do all this? You know, is this how this shit supposed to be? Like, what the world going on? If you feel it in your heart and your intuition and your divine God and angels are telling you yes. And, you know, you've received so much luck and so much happiness after you've taken in this offer or this project, whatever the case may be, and you aren't second guessing it, then yes, it's right for you. Regardless of how long it stays in, it stays in your life, it's right for you. And it's like you, you have to maintain it. Um, for some of you, I am picking up that you are going through changes during this time. Uh, for some reason, this is popping up in my head. I said this for the Capricorns uh, for a particular week, maybe last week or the week before that. I can't really remember. But if you if you can watch that video, for some reason, I feel like it will be it will resonate with you for this week. All right. Um, I am picking up that there will be issues in regards to money. Bills are piling up. Um, or expenses are becoming costly and you know you have to maintain the ship honey you gotta keep steering the damn boat to where it needs to go um i feel for some of you like something is after you like in regards to money like maybe it's a bill collector um maybe uh someone helped you in the past and they're like okay i need my money back now or vice versa um unfortunately in regards to money it, it is wrong timing like it's wrong timing um, not a good time to loan people money, um, because you will not get that back or you will have a hard time getting that back. Um, I just feel for some of you, like you're, you're just focused on career. You're focusing on your purpose, what it is that you really want to do. Um, I am picking up for some of you, like you want to have more kids or you do want kids or you want to have it with someone, um, that you can spend the rest of your life with. Um, some of you, you may be looking for a soulmate during this time. Um, maybe for some of you, uh, one of your children or maybe all of your children is a soulmate. Um, not intimate, not, not, not in an intimate way, but like on a soul connection, like that child completes you, that child makes you happy. Um, and you know, maybe that connection that you have with your child is becoming stronger. Okay. Um, but I do see changes with career for the better. It may not seem that way right now. Maybe you will go through a hard time. Maybe you will get laid off. You'll get fired. Um, maybe you have to go through bankruptcy. Maybe your business is going downhill or uphill. Whatever the case may be, spirit is saying it's happening for a reason. Handle it properly. All right. Spirit is definitely connecting with you. They are waiting for your answer. So pick up that damn phone. <laughs> um, on another note, spirit. Okay. Some of you, you are afraid. And that's going back to what I said, like some, something was offered to you and regardless of if you took it or if you declined it, you are, you are still confused if you've made the right decision. Go within and you will know. Go within and you will know. By the month of September, you will fully get your answer or you will fully have the guts and the carriage to fully put in that action and put in that work to what you're really supposed to do. However, for some of you, if you aren't ready to fight the fight or deal with the battle, you're going to continue to go through this, um, will, I can't even say it, right? Oh my God. Like when flowers die, they're, they're wilting away. I, for some reason, spirit wouldn't let me say that, but 
yeah you're um you're just dying away if you choose to not go within and fully heal the way that you are supposed to heal your 2020 was about uh, truth coming to the light and accepting you for the person that you are meant to be okay um i feel like the world is on your side like your divine god the universe your angels your deities whatever you believe in they are really on your side but it's like they're waiting on you. They're waiting on you to make a particular move. They're waiting on you to give them the say so, to give them the green light. All right. They're with you. Don't ever think that they're not. I feel for somebody, like I hear somebody say, God, you see me going through this mess. Why aren't you handling it? Baby, the ball is in your court. We are the court. <laughs> That's what spirit is saying this is god and spirit or whatever is the court you're walking on it okay so you can take that message how you want to but um but yeah y'all like i said the the ball is in your court it's just how how are you handling your troubles how are you handling your happiness how are you handling everything in between um uh, for some of you this will be a good time for you to read um, also, this will be a good time for some of you to write a book. Unfortunately, I am picking up on some of you discovering a message um, that kind of touches you the wrong way. Um, maybe this is a message that you needed to see or hear, um, regardless of if it's self-encouraging or damaging. Okay. But yeah, y'all. Y'all really need y'all really need to release and just understand the platform that you are on. And also understand that your divine God and angels are lifting you up. Okay. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this return. Good luck with everything. I shall see you guys next week. Take care. Bye.